so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and it's raining generative ai solutions from google google is on fire they have first released google adk a2a protocol made view to free and now they have released firebase studio which is very much similar to Repl replit cursor ai bolt but with a lot more features and free to use so i think google is now taking up everyone in the generative ai space and it's some fun time for them so let's try out Firebase Studio. As already mentioned, you just give yourself an idea and then Firebase Studio will create that application entirely from scratch for you and can even deploy it. Yes, you heard it right. It is using Gemini and it is free to use as well. So there's nothing that you are paying for. So let's get started. Let's create a basic application. Here are certain examples that you can see are getting suggested. Let me create an expense tracker. A budgeting and expense tracking app with spending categories, charts, and budgets. Include a clean dashboard key insights. Pretty good. Let me add a few things here. Let the user be able to add values and the charts get updated on the fly. I assume it would be doing that. Now we would be showcasing the entire process how it works. Prototype with AI. Let's get started. As you can see, it has started with the planning part. So first of all, it, it starts with the planning, income expense input, category definition, chart generation, budget goal setting, dashboard overview. You can edit this also from here. As you can see, colors are teal, I guess, white and green, clean and minimal layout, iconography, animations. Let's prototype this. Let's get started. Prototype this app. You can also change the language. Right now it is using HTML, CSS. You can also change it to React and whether, whatever options are present. Here you can so, uh, see on the left, right hand side, what are the different files it is creating. And everything is getting done on the fly. I am really, really scared now for the IT jobs that we have. It's, it's a tough time coming in because these applications are on fire totally. Checking for errors. As you can see, it is able to create also crazy dashboard overview is this add expense, define spending, spending patterns, etc. Let's there are no categories present. Amount is for example, 100 add expense. Now as I'm able to add expense here, you can see that the total expense is increased, but its status is good. Add category unhandled error as you can see some error has come in so we will click on fix error now it will now fix it there are many features that they have given they have given a change on the fly option as well so you can just click on the ui whatever part you didn't like you can select that and you can even update that too here is some issue again so i think it's, it's still just released so i think there might be certain issues but the idea it looks very interesting to me and they provide a lot of features Let me add some amount nine. Add expense. It is able to add expense. Let's add another expense. So the amount got added here and you need to provide some categories, I guess. So it's still failing here. I think this is very, very similar to what we faced for data science agent as well. The idea looks good, but I think the execution is just a little messy and no one would like to go into it and see what the issue are. There are two issues that are mentioned application status style and uh, so a decent enough experience for me initially. This is just a specific turn off when you see things breaking down in production. So this is the workspace that we have created for now. We can click on this again. You can create more projects. I think three projects are free for you to create. And this is a direct take on Replit, Bolt and Cursor AI. To be honest, let's see what are the other options. Select is there. Share preview link. This is very interesting. They have given a QR code also. So you can scan and get the application in your mobile as well. Quite good. You can change colors here. Describe the changes you want to make. Add some background color to the application. Also, it is looking very dull. Add some animations. Add some default expenses and categories also. Let's run this. 
let's see whether it is able to update things or not correctly because it was a basic application i think the example that only we took and it just faltered out as here you can see this time they have added some categories but still the graph is not looking that good 80 is there food is the category and transportation they have added okay fine but there is no legend for the plot to see fine i think this looks okay to me reload the page restart application is also an op option and this is the interesting part annotate so i'll show you what does that mean just click on annotate and now you can go on to the ui part as you can see and change things by drawing add instructions so let's try out add a money icon everywhere sent to drawing so if you annotate i didn't annotate anything if you are able to annotate like just mark down where you want to add icon and eventually that icon gets added there we will attempt it again so it looks to be a quite cool feature i think this is a feature which is quite unique it is not present with the replit or cursor that i know so this annotation looks good and a very very interesting update i would say we're still checking for errors but i think for basic app when i was trying to add a category here it's still doing some error for us i don't know html so it might be the case that it's a very obvious error that you need to change but for now i think as an user who don't know about how this particular language works if you get an error i think it's a it's immediate turn off and you might not uh, wish to proceed also if there are coding issues present now as you can see on the top also there is a publish button as well switch to code get support etc it is able to add some icon everywhere it is able to add some expenses also this is nice let's try out annotate again take up the pencil draw this part and say change color to red so i have now marked down that i need to change this particular text color to red let's see how annotation works so this is a very interesting update apart from that there are multiple more features that the team has given you can switch to code here get support publish option is there so it straight away it gets published and here you can see that i think i marked dashboard overview to be changed and it is able to change budget status warning as red there are glitches present here it's not a perfect application to be honest no worries still free so you can try using it apart from that there are multiple things that you can try out here workspace import repo go python flask java you can ch check the language as well from here react native plus expo mongodb more sample prompts a lot of things are there so i think to be honest it's quite early to judge firebase studio because it has just released i think as users will start using it it will be able to figure out its bugs but yeah overall the idea looks good and we have a new competitor for ai application development alongside replit cursor and bolt the features are good the annotate part is quite good but didn't work for us if you saw i highlighted something and it got uh, highlight it updated something else but no worries i think this looks good worth trying out it's free to use and i hope you try this application and let me know your feedback thank you so much